friends, this is Zubi Masters returning to my let's play of Danganronpa. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? I got it! Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one, but... Looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa! You might have finally just said something worth a shit. really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. No. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Rotated? I think maybe, maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it. So, whose name did she write? The killer's name. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. What? What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Th that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Leon tried to get rid of. I think I found the ground. 
I got it! You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. I got it! If you look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. That's wrong. There's another way to eat the scenery without being one on cleaning duty. That's exactly what proves Leon is the real killer. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. Which means the only possible suspect is whoever had the trash room key. Okay, so the person who would have had the trash room key was... Huh? Me? No! There's absolutely way to use the insert that that you can get trash from. So it was able to turn on the center and use it to be found on the trash from your body. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? Shoot! Dang it! The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? 
And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the F. No, what? Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... Uh... But how would you use it? I got it! The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Kifumi? Kifumi had the key, so the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... I got it! Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened.
What happened? I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stab Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw, but the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life.
having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I have the evidence? When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! Where's your poop? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove that. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. That must 
be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then... The screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Looks like you're right. got it right on the money. The black in this case, the one that killed Sayaka. It was none other than Leon Kawada. Huh? Huh? Hey, hold on. Hold, hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But... Don't believe it. You son of a son bitch! Son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I I didn't have a choice. With killed or be killed. So that's why. None of you are any different. One small step and you be here, and one standing here. It was complete chance that we wound up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. that's all. Hey! Come, come on. on! Expect me just accept my death? Everything became clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off with we than wrong. Because of what we came up with, it really is the truth. Then the truth is that Saika was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, mastermind. It all because it's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, the video actually had something to do with me. I can't even imagine. Now we're 
trapped here with no way out. They're pro probably waiting for me. What? I can't Why? afford to be stuck in here. One thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, friends. Has something like that happened to them? Sayaka. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even th some things that weren't so pleasant. That's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her. That's why she betrayed me. So, when she said... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? Guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy, howdy. The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. What did you say? Phew. I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Saika's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love, the stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us! This is all your fault! Saika's being forced to do something like that! All of it! Everything! It's all your fault! Suddenly and frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough it was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Oh, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were going to give me a good walloping. Just barely avoiding punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Now then, since you're so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the Clash trial, the Blackened Leon will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean... Execution? Wait a second! I didn't have a choice! I had to kill him! Yeah, that's it! Just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense! Is that okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your own very own tool? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went on your way to head back to your own room. You came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? Do you have any number of chances to have when you were doing, but you chose not to? Not because you ha had an unclouded intent to murder. So. That's why... That's not... Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? You killed your precious Saika. Do, do you understand? I can't say that Leon is solely to blame. Of course I don't pl plan on blaming Saika either. Because... Because the one to blame is him! What? If you if it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. 
we should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Uh-oh, did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that penetrates war all over the world. Ah. It's that kind of justice that awaits with it. Sh shut up! Hmm. Okay, well anyway, more importantly... Let's hurry to get what everyone's been waiting for. The punishment. I'm begging I'm you, begging please don't, don't do this. Hey, no more begging, no more excuses. Now. You may, must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! One thousand blows. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, then what else can could we call it? Extreme! Woohoo, extreme! <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is something right out of control. have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if you, every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! Fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Say what? Or in this case, a dark, awful society type of bear! Well... Uh, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... Well, it seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. It's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Mm. Yeah, I don't think 
between what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fits together. Ugh, you piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened happened because more than one of you decided to you wanted to get out right. No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course we can't cut free of the outside world being trapped in this insane place. You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you've learned all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. What do you think, boys? If this isn't so wonderful, how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Chills, kills! Let's get to the Blackened Spongebob. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. Not e even, no one even tried to spoke. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? Closer and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back. There's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You want me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? thought never crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool being such an easy target like that. It's true. Saya meant the true devil cross you. That's a fact. Hack to you can never change. But till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayako would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't, don't you think? Her final thought. What was... Was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used the last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she won't want to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. If I think... I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. 
It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all of this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the death of your friends Sayaka and Leon and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths. That's... I can never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Saika, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, <laughs> you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high, high expectations for you. And she said that she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I am just got, have pretty good intuition. Chapter 1. <laughs> Continued. We've got the despair badge. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.